Hello everyone, today we are going to study chapter number 5th, fraction, problem set number 22 and 23 we are going to complete in today's video. So problem set number 22 is this, addition and subtraction of the fractions we are going to study. It's same as we have done in the previous uh, practice set also, so it is same. So 1 upon 8 plus 3 upon 4, this is the question and you all need to add it. Now for addition, what you all have to do? You all have to see whether the denominators are equal or no. So in 8's table, 4 will not come, but in 4's table, 8 is going to come. So we will keep this fraction as it is. Same rakna hai. Plus 3 into what we have to multiply in order to get 8. So 4 2 are 8 so we have to multiply 2 at the numerator also so this is going to be 1 upon 8 plus 3 twos are 6 4 twos are 8 so this is going to be denominators are equal so let's write it once and 1 plus 6 so it is going to be 7 upon 8 all right so this is your first sum now let's solve the second one second one is 2 upon 21 plus 3 upon 7. So same method we have done in the previous video also children. The link will be provided in the description box. So what we have to do in 21 stable 7 is not going to come. But in 7 stable 21 is going to come. So let's keep this equation as it is. Plus 3 into what? So first we will write for denominator and then we will write it for numerator. So 7 3's are 21 isn't it? So same number you all have to multiply to the numerator also so this equation will be this fraction will be same 3 3's are 9 7 3's are 21 when you have the denominators equal we can write it once so 2 plus 9 it is going to be 9 plus 2 11 upon 21 got it children now the third sum is 2 upon 5 plus 1 upon 3 now over here both the denominators are different, isn't it? So what we have to do, multiply 5 with 3 and 3 with 5, okay? And same for the numerator. So 2 into 3, 5 into 3. Okay, why we are doing it? So that we will get the denominator same. Okay, see, 5 3s and 3 5s, it's going to be 15 only. So 2 3s are 6, 5 3s are 15, Plus 1 5s are 5, 3 5s are 15. Okay, so 15 you all have to write it once. 6 plus 5, so your answer is going to be 11 upon 15. Got it children? Now, the fourth sum. Fourth sum is 2 upon 7 plus 1 upon 2. Over here also the denominators are different. So same method we will be doing it. We will be multiplying these denominators with each other. That means 7 with 2. Okay, why 2? Because over here it is 2. Okay, remember this. Plus 1 into 7 over here. Why 7? Because 7 2s are and 2 7s are both are going to be 14. So 2 2s are 4, 7 2s are 14, 1 7s are 7, 2 7s are 14. 14 you all have to write it once, 4 plus 7. Okay. So when you add 4 and 7, it's going to be 11 upon 14. Got it children? So in this way, your fourth fraction is solved. Now the fifth one is 3 upon 9 plus 3 upon 5. Again, different denominators. So, multiply them with each other. Plus 3 into 9 and 5 into 9. So, 3 5s are 15. 9 5s are 45. 3 9s are 27. 3 5s are 15. 3, yeah, it's right. 3 9s are 27. 5 9s are 45. Okay, so you all have to just multiply the numbers with each other. Now, when you all have got the denominator equal, multiply it. Sorry, add it, not multiply it. Add it. Okay, so this number is big. So, you all can add it over here also in the rough space or on a rough page also. No problem. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 12, 2, 3, 4. So, the answer is 42 upon 45. Got it? Now, the next question is subtraction. 
ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फर्स्ट सम इज थ्री अपॉन टेन माइनस वन अपॉन ट्वेंटी ओके नाउ सेम स्टेप वी हैव टू कैरी चिल्ड्रन ओके आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दिस हाउ टू सब्ट्रैक्ट नाउ इन टेन स्टेबल ट्वेंटी कम्स एंड बट ट्वेंटी स्टेबल टेन इज नॉट गोइंग टू कम सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस इक्वेशन एंड कीप दिस इक्वेशन एज इट इज सो टेन टू जार ट्वेंटी सो मल्टीप्लाय द न्यूमरेटर ऑल्सो विथ टू वी विल कीप दिस इक्वेशन एज इट इज थ्री टू जार सिक्स टेन टू जार ट्वेंटी माइनस वन ट्वेंटी सेम स्टेप्स वी हैव टू कैरी लेट्स नॉट मेक एनी चेंजेस इन द स्टेप्स सो सिक्स माइनस वन इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव अपॉन ट्वेंटी नाउ यू विल सी दैट दीज नंबर्स कम इन वन टेबल दैट इज फाइव वन आर फाइव सो आई विल सॉल्व इट ओवर यूर फाइव वन आर फाइव फाइव फोर आर ट्वेंटी सो योर आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी वन अपॉन फोर दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट एंड इफ यूल can uh, subtract divide it further also you you will be getting this answer okay even if you are ended over here this is also right now the third second sum is 3 upon 4 minus 1 upon 2 so we will keep 4 3 upon 4 as it is 1 multiplied with 2 2 multiplied with 2 this fraction we will keep it as it is 1 2 is a 2 2 2 is a 4 Three minus two, we will write it in one frame. All right. Now three minus two is going to be one upon four. Got it. So over here, this sum is done. We need not divide it. Now the third sum is going to be six upon fourteen minus two upon seven. All right. So six upon fourteen, we will keep it as it is. Two into Two because we are multiplying seven with two, so six upon fourteen minus two twos are four, seven twos are fourteen, fourteen six minus four, so six minus four is going to be two upon fourteen. Now this can be reduced. Reduced means divided. Okay, so two ones are two, seven are fourteen. Both the numbers are being divided by the table of two, as we have divided over here with the table of five. In the same way, we have divided this with the table of two. So your answer is going to be one upon seven. Even if you all end it over here, also your answer is right. But I will recommend you all to further reduce it. This is going to be your answer. Now let's solve the fourth sum. Fourth sum is four upon six minus three upon five. Both the de uh, denominators are different, so four multiplied with five, six multiplied with five, three multiplied with six, and five multiplied with six. Five fours are or four fives are twenty. Five six are thirty. Three six are eighteen. Five six are thirty. You all have got the denominators equal. So write it once. Twenty minus eighteen. What is going to be the answer? Two upon thirty. है ना? Both the numbers can be divided. है ना? So we will divide it. Two ones are two ones are two. Carry your one over here because when you subtract three with two, it is going to be one, and your answer is going to be two fives are ten. So this is going to be one upon Fifteen. If you are not able to reduce it, children, you all can divide it also in this way. Okay. So see, in this way, two ones are two. Okay. Two fives are ten. So this is going to be one, and this is going to be fifteen. So even this answer is right, and this answer is right. Again and again, I am repeating it. Now let's solve the fifth sum. All right. So the fifth sum is two upon seven minus one upon four. So two multiplied with four, seven multiplied with four, one multiplied with seven, four multiplied with seven. So two fours are eight, seven fours are twenty-eight minus one seven is seven, four seven is twenty-eight. Okay, so twenty-eight we will write it once. Eight minus seven. So this is going to be eight minus seven one. Upon twenty-eight, need not to reduce it. 
Now let's solve problem set number 23 children. You all have to refer the textbook over here. Now in this question what is 1 upon 3 of each of the collection given below. Matlab what we have to do? We have to multiply with this equation. Okay every time you all have to multiply with these equations. Okay. And, uh, fractions so that we will be able to get the answer. Now what they have said for the first one? 15 pencils. Okay, I will show you. And what is the fraction that they have given? 1 upon 3. So what you all have to do? 15 into 1 upon 3. Okay, that means reduction you all have to do? 3 ones are 3 fives. Both the numbers should be divided with the same table or you all can divide it in the simple way as we do it i will show you over here as we divide it 3 and 15 3 fives are 15 okay so you all have to multiply it so this is going to be 5 into 1 5 upon 1 that means 5 this is your first step another step is going to be same but it is going to be little different that is 15 into 1 upon 3 isn't it? This was your question. So, 15 ones are 15 upon 3. Again, 3 ones are 3 fives are. So, you are getting 5 upon 1 or divide it as I have shown you all. Got it? Any one you all have to do. Both the answers are going to be same. Even if you all directly divide it or after multiplication you all divide it, both the answers are going to be the same. Now, the second one is, second one is 21 balloons. Okay, you all have to write it over here also children. Okay, 5 is going to be the answer. So, 1 upon 3 of each of 15 is 5. Alright. Now, 25 balloons means 5 pencils also you all can write it. Okay. Now, 21 balloons means again 21 multiplied with 1 upon 3. Same fraction you all have to take. Now whichever method is easy. 21 into 1 is going to be 21 upon 3. 3 ones are 3. 3 sevens are 21. So your answer is supposed to be 7. Okay 7 upon 1 means 7. Therefore 1 upon 3 of 21 means 7 balloons got it now the third one is nine children so nine into one upon three same fraction okay we will do the same step nine into one nine and three as it is three ones are three threes are so three upon one is going to be three so therefore one upon three of 9 means 3 children. Okay. Now the fourth one is 18 books. Means 18 into 1 upon 3. So 18 ones are 18. 18 ones are 18. 3 ones are 3. 3, 6 are 18. So, your answer is going to be 6 upon 1 means 6. Therefore, 1 upon 3 of 18 means 6 books. Alright. Now, the same kind of a question. But, now the fraction has changed from 1 upon 3 to 1 upon 5. Okay. And different answers are being uh, the different questions have been given we have to find with the fraction of 1 upon 5. So 20 rupees means 20 multiplied with 1 upon 5. So 20 into 1 is going to be 20 and 5 as it is 5 ones are 5 fours are. So answer is 4 upon 1 means 4. So therefore 1 upon 5 of 20 means 4 rupees. Next is going to be 30 kilometer. So 30 into 1 upon 5, 30 into 1, 30 upon 5, 
5 ones are 5 6 are so 6 upon 1 is going to be 6 therefore 1 upon 5 of 30 kilometer means 6 kilometers got it third one is 15 liters so 15 into 1 upon 5 15 into 1 15 and 5 as it is 5 ones are 5 threes are so your answer is 3 upon 1 means 3 so therefore 1 upon 5 of 15 liter means 3 liters fourth one is 25 centimeter means 25 into 1 upon 5 so 25 ones are 25 upon 5 5 ones are 5 fives are so 5 upon 1 means 5 therefore 1 upon 5 of 25 centimeter means 5 centimeters got it so this is your question number two is completed now the third question is find the part of each of the following number equal to the given fraction now they have given same children okay but the fraction and the number that is to be multiplied is different for everyone so we will do the first one in the same pattern you all have to do question number third first sum 2 upon 3 of 30 means 2 upon 3 multiplied with 30 okay so i will show you two steps over here again see 2 into 30 is going to be 60 upon 3 3 ones are 3 twos are 6 0 as it is means 20 upon 1 that is 20 okay this is your first step second step is 2 upon 3 multiplied with 30 3 ones are 3 3 ones are 3 0 as it is 2 into 10 is going to be 20 upon 1 means 20 both the answers are same whatever is easy for you all you all can follow it i will be showing you both the steps children so that you all don't get confused of 22 means 7 into 22 sorry 7 upon 11 into 22 okay so directly we can solve it see 11 ones are 11 twos are 7 into 2 14 now if you all multiply it that means you all have to multiply it in this way 7 twos are 14 7 twos are 14 plus 1 15 okay so 7 into 22 so 7 into 22 is supposed to be 154 upon 11 and now so again 11 see divide karna hai 11 ones are 11 ones are and 11 fours are so 14 upon 1 is your answer this will take time children because you all have to multiply whereas this is going to be very easy cross multiply karna hai that's it table is going to be the same almost sub sums mein across table is same third sum 3 upon 8 of 64 means 3 upon 8 multiplied with 64 okay so multiply karlo ya to 8 ones are 8 8 eights are 64 3 into 8 is 24 upon 1 means 24 or multiply karlo that is 64 into 3 3 fours are 12 3 six are 18 plus 1 19 So when you multiply, you are going to get 192 upon 8. Hey na? So 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16, 17, 18, 19, 8 are 32. So your answer is 24. Next, the last is 5 upon 13 of 65 means 5 upon 13 multiplied with 65. Therefore, ab isko directly we can do it children. Okay, it is very easy. 65 se 5 se multiply karke, it is not going to uh, give us any answer. 13 ones are 13 fives are. 5 into 5 is going to be 25. 
directly also you all can do it no need to multiply it learn this step okay so i hope this exercise is clear to everyone see you in the next video till then take care bye